Yo, what is up YouTube? I am Germ here today. We're gonna be talking about how last night in an epic five game absolute banger of a series, TSM took down FlyQuest to win the 2020 Spring Split LCS Championship. Um, and there are so many storylines and interesting things to come out of this series. Speak of being the youngest player in the entire LCS, just absolutely hard carrying some games and becoming an absolute threat in the jungle, taking on some of the best junglers in North America and absolutely smurfing all over them. Bjergsen returning to absolute GOAT status and carrying the series winning uh, finals MVP. Um, but one of the bigger storylines I think in this whole thing is the return to greatness of double lift and again his quote of spring split doesn't matter and then him coming back in the summer split having this huge redemption arc uh, and just absolutely redeeming himself and showing up on the biggest stage once again uh, time and time again we've seen that the team that wins LCS or at least the team that does very well in the LCS makes it the LCS finals whatever is usually the team that has double lift and at times this year uh, just even thinking back to spring split he looked absolutely terrible at times in the spring split uh, he blamed it on Senna being a doggy champ or whatever you know he had a million excuses spring split doesn't matter um, he was unmotivated his team was at the top he had nothing to play for um, and in some ways he was correct because the, the how the format worked this year I mean in general spring spring split never really matters that much I mean we saw it in 2019 where TSM made it to the finals of spring split and then still didn't even make worlds like you're not really rewarded for uh, what you do in spring and by the time summer comes around none of that really matters anyway but especially this year where spring split literally meant nothing you got no uh, championship points for it you didn't do you didn't place any higher in summer you didn't make it into the gauntlet of the higher seed or anything uh, the only thing you got was a seed at MSI, which didn't even happen. So really, Spring Split was nothing. Cloud9 won Spring, and we're not going to be talking about them anytime soon. And that 2020 Spring Split Championship for Cloud9 is going to largely be forgotten in the history books um, because it was just a weird time, obviously, in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, all, all this stuff going on. Um, it didn't really matter too much. And yes, Doublelift was memed so much for his quotes at the time, uh, talking about how Spring Split doesn't matter, but... When you see everything that has transpired since then, uh, you see that he was largely correct. And even though that's a terrible mindset to have and not something you want from someone who you hope to be continually practicing and improving to hopefully do better on their pretty subpar uh, international performances so far in his career, um, that still doesn't mean that he was wrong. But anyway, we see Doublelift get benched from Team Liquid. They want to bring in Tactical uh, headed into the summer split. They want him to compete for the spot with Tactical. They're not going to just give him the spot or anything. Um, so he decides to leave, and that, that leads him back to TSM, the team that kicked him just two years prior. Uh, it also leads to this huge controversy because he's dating the president of TSM. Um, all this, like, insider, um, you know, just conflict of interest, all this stuff going on. It led to this really, really big controversy and there was just so much drama and everything surrounding TSM and it seemed like it was just going to be an absolute mess because again Doublelift wasn't even that highly rated coming into the summer split and was it going to be worth all this extra baggage um, but we've seen what Bjergsen and Doublelift can do together before so that brings them into the summer split where they're largely up and down. Uh, Doublelift has an okay summer split, but he, he doesn't have a good summer split by Doublelift standards. He wasn't by far the best AD carry in the region. Uh, he was largely outshadowed by FBI at portions, but also Sven was just as good of him at times. Wild Turtle was really, really good at times as well. Um, there were definitely a lot of other AD carries that were competing with Doublelift. Um, but again, TSM is able to finish fourth, which for a Bjergsen and Doublelift team, you would say is not very good, but they did bring in Doublelift in the split. They did bring in Spica. There was a lot of moving parts and changing parts and stuff when a lot of the other teams in the LCS largely stayed the same. Uh, FlyQuest stayed the same coming into summer split. Uh, Cloud9 stayed the same. Team Liquid, they just subbed in tactical, but they were pretty much the same other than their coaching staff. Um, TSM made the most changes and it did take them the longest to develop. Um, but then Doublelift comes into the playoffs saying that he's ready to get TSM back. He says, you know, if, if him and Bjergsen are on the same team, you expect that team to win. And any team he's on, he expects to have a chance to win, which kind of seemed crazy coming in because Cloud9 had looked so dominant. Uh, FlyQuest and Team Liquid really did look a tier above TSM, um, but they were right there. Then this leads us to the GGS series where TSM loses three to zero. Doublelift looks absolutely terrible. He got completely outclassed by FBI and Huhi, of all people, who is a, a mid lane roll swap, which is really, really crazy. Um, and then, I mean, after that, 
there were so many memes, so many people flaming double it, so many people saying that he's washed up, that TSM made this horrible decision, that wow, uh, you know, he's, he's super old, he's like 27 or 28 years old or something, um, all this crazy stuff. And TSM looked like they were on the ropes. They were in the loser's bracket. And to make it back, they were going to have to beat Golden Guardians again. Or they were going to have to beat a team that beat Golden Guardians. Um, anyway, that and but this was also with Treats playing as well. Because that was a whole nother thing that happened to TSM during the summer split. The Biofrost and Treats uh, swapping and stuff. Part of that was because Biofrost was definitely playing poorly. But part of that could have been because Doublelift was not playing very well either. Um, anyway, they play against Dignitas. They are able to knock them out. And then they come... Uh, back to a matchup with GGS again, where Double Lift uh, with Biofrost alongside him this time looks so much better. He, he wasn't looking insane at this point because FBI is still largely outclassed him and FBI was still very, very amazing in that series. Um, but he did well. They're able to take down GGS in game five. This is where the Bjergs and Zillion memes really start coming out and TSM really starts to find their footing um, with Spika's Nidalee and all these crazy picks coming in, carries in the top lane from Broken Blade. And something in that series must have clicked because after that, TSM and specifically double lift went on an absolute tear uh, after that they were able to knock out cloud nine three to one not even taking that series to game five making it look very very easy where double lift looked great uh, and then being able to beat team liquid which is a huge redemption story for double lift obviously his old team who subbed him out for tactical being able to beat them um, and show them that they're going to be the three seed they're going to be the one playing in plans at worlds and they're the ones who made the mistake because double lift is back in the finals uh, and then TSM largely came into the uh, the finals as favorites. A lot of the analysts picked them, the fans picked them, so many people picked them because they looked so good against Team Liquid. Um, but Flyquist was still a very, very formidable team. Um, but once again, Broken Blade, Speak of Bjergs, and Double Lift Biofrost, everyone really showed up in the finals. Everyone had amazing games, moments at times, and the team looked so good. Um, but Double Lift, once again, just like a couple of weeks after looking absolutely terrible against Golden Guardians, uh, Double Lift was able to have a really, really good, amazing series. Um, and he came a long way from being this uh, person saying that Senna is a doggy champ and Senna's terrible um, to now Senna being one of his best and most consistent champions and one of the picks that TSM can really use uh, to see a ton of success when they have uh, the global ultimate of Senna and the healing and utility of Senna being able to pair it up with carry junglers and carry top laners um, and in just such a short time. Thinking back to Spring Split, where TSM gets knocked out early and Double Lift gets benched, TSM and Double Lift both separately were looking like really, really in terrible spots. Um, but then to know in just a couple of months, four, five, six months, however long it's been, TSM has come such a long way to come from the loser bracket to win the LCS finals in the spring split of 2020, or in the summer split of 2020, for Double Lift to go in the spring from being benched uh, on a ninth place team to being the AD carry on the best team in North America once again, and the team headed into Worlds as the one seed and the most hype and hope and chance uh, going into Worlds is an absolutely incredible story. And again, it really does show us that spring split doesn't matter. And if you want to win the LCS, you need to have double lift on your team. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. We got the new webcam. Uh, I finally switched up to a 1080p webcam. I'm trying to reinvest some of the money we're making on this channel into getting better equipment and everything for you guys. Uh, so yeah, be de definitely be looking out for big quality improvements and everything. Um, I'm still working out the specifics about everything. I'm not sure if it's set up correctly and all that. So bear with me a little bit. Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think about TSM's insane run? What do you think about Doublelift's redemption arc? Uh, definitely subscribe to so update on the latest content. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.